this video, I'm showing the best way to get Wen and Project Slayers. Let's get right into the video. All right, so the first thing you need to do is head over to Kira Baiting Village, the starter village. I'm going to show you guys where to go next. So follow my character, and let's get started, baby. All right, so we are at the place where you guys need to be at. And what you want to do is talk to this girl named Betty. Go ahead and talk to her. And she's going to be like, oh my god, I lost the diamond part of my bracelet. He helped me find it and be like, sure. And looking for you guys today, I know all the locations for this diamond bracelet. There are three locations, and here's the first one. The first one is down here. It's going to be right, like around right here. There's a tiny little diamond. But unfortunately, right now, it's not there. What you want to do is go up over here. And the second location where it could be at is in this corner on my cursor. Over here. And I think, is it there? It's uh, it's not here. So it would be right here, but it's not here. But don't worry, though. I know this final location is the third location. The only one left is going to be behind the building. So over here. And behind this like, green little rock right there, it's behind this building. What you want to do is go behind it, and it's going to be right there. And by the way, I'm playing this on version 0 0.081. So if you're playing on a later date, this might not work for you anymore. But yeah, here's the diamond right there. And bam, $500 like that. Unfortunately, guys, this does not give you good XP, but it's really good for freaking Yen. Like I said, there are three locations for the diamond to appear. One location being right here, down there. The second location being over here at the very corner. And the third location being behind that building, like I, sh like I showed you guys earlier. Your goal is to save up 2,500 Yen to make even more money while you're waiting for the Betty cooldown because she has a five minute cooldown. So make sure you all save up 2,500 yen and I'll show you guys what to do next. If you don't have 2,500 yen, keep spamming this quest until you have 2,500. But if you guys do have 2,500 yen, I'm going to show you guys where to buy a fishing rod. This fishing rod is going to be super useful when Betty's on cooldown. So come and follow me. I'm going to show you guys where to buy one. All right, so we are here at the fishing rod place. Go over here and buy the fishing rod for 2,500 yen. Bing, bada, boom. Now, listen, I know it's a lot of money, but this will actually make you so much more money in the long term. Trust me. What you want to do next is go back over to the one hottie right there, Betty. All right, so now you have the fishing rod and you have Betty. We're combining these two to make one ultimate farming method. All right, so let's go ahead and talk to her. She's gonna be like, oh my God, I lost my diamond ring or whatever it is. And then go be like, yes. Now there's location number one down here. Is it down there? I don't think it's down there. I'm gonna check again. Uh, yeah, it's not down here. Now location two is probably on the corner or it could be behind that building over there. Let's, let's check this corner over here, actually. Let's see. The diamond ring is over here. Bing, bada, boom. Now, while she's on cooldown for five minutes, you need to take your little fishing rod and go over to the lake. And that, uh, boys, is about to get real nice for money right now. I'm telling you. I'm telling you, homies. Now, I'm playing on PC right now, so I'm not sure how it works on mobile. What you want to do, though, is just put your fishing rod, just click, and bam. And let's just wait. Fishing has just got buffed, so you can make a lot of money from this. So what you want to do is, this yellow line right there, if it goes over the blue rectangle, what you want to do is press the blue circle. So it's going to do that, that, bam, bam. I missed. Oh, Lord. And bam, I've caught a fish. Boom. That is one fish for me. And we're going to keep doing this for five minutes straight. Right, so I think we're good right now. I'm gonna go back to the one lady right there and let's see if I can get the, the quest again. I also got us here. I have, um, let's see, I have three fish here. I got two fish and I got one fish here. So I have six fish in total from uh, fishing. Let's talk to this girl right here. Is it done? Okay, the quest is not done yet. I feel like it should be done like any second now. I don't know. But in the meantime, let's go ahead and sell our fish.
If you want to sell a fish, all I gotta do is talk to Mark and just press sell. Look at this. 1,230. Oh, bro. This is under, like, what, five minutes now? Oh, my goodness. And once we go back over to the Betty, we're getting another $500. And all I gotta do is repeat this over and over again. And, bro, we get so much freaking money, bro. I'm telling you. Now, again, bro, I got to do is talk to Betty like this. Now, go ahead and talk to Betty. Bam. And, bro, this is an easy ultimate farming method for you guys. All right. So, now, again, where's the, where's the jewel? Where's it? Is it here? Um, Not down here. Okay. Nope. The second spot I could be at is in the corner over here. Hmm. So, it's over here. I see... Uh, um, It's not over here. So, it has to be in the... So, it has to be behind the house now. There are only three locations as of 0 0.081. So, yeah. Anyways, go back here and bam, there it is. And that is 500 bucks. And after that, you can go fishing again and repeat the entire process and make so much freaking money. This might get patched soon by increasing the cooldown or like, I don't know how to make it different, but this is a really good method of making money. So I hope if this video did help you, make sure you all smash the like button and subscribe for more awesome product content like this one. Take care, peace out, have a great day. Mm -hmm.